Council of Ministers that we need to go. To have heard about this for so long and then to come and actually see it and meet survivors, it's very powerful and emotional. And it's not over. There's still people having to survive with Ebola who are still being discriminated against, who have had misinformation provided about them, but also trying to survive. CDC has made a difference, and we've heard it in every story, every community health officer we've spoken to, every national surveillance officer, and the community itself, hearing how we trained people to be able to investigate contacts, to make sure that people could stay safe and to stop the outbreak, how we gave people skills to look at data, to be able to use that data to make sure they could stop the outbreaks, and then the information that we've imparted in surveillance and tracking diseases so that they can report when there is an increase to stop something before it spreads further. This trip has been so valuable to see our efforts, to see what governments have done and their commitment to making sure that they have a public health workforce, they have strong laboratories and surveillance systems to be able to detect, prevent and respond.